When you're a part of the cross-country biking community, you're likely familiar with the age-old rivalry between two giants, Specialized and Trek. Both manufacturers take center stage with their innovative and trail-worthy bikes. From their entire lineup, we've singled out the Epic Evo and Supercaliber 9.6 for today's comparison. These bikes promise more than just speed. They offer an exhilarating blend of efficiency and trail dominance. This often leaves people in difficulty when choosing between them. So, we're here to lay out all the specs and features of these two bikes on one plate to let you understand their differences and figure out which one suits you better. When you look at cross-country bikes, it's essential to check out their shape and what they're made of. The specialized Epic Evo, for instance, is like a great bike made of Fact 11M carbon. This carbon stuff makes it light and strong at the same time, so you'll get a cool experience. Now the Epic Evo doesn't just stop there. It's got something called Progressive XC Geometry. Think of it like a special design that makes the bike work better. It's got a RockShox Reba RL fork at the front that can handle 120 millimeters of bumps. And at the back, there's a RockShox Deluxe Select plus shock that can take on bumps with its size of 190 by 40 millimeters. And it also has a flip chip rear end, which means you can tweak parts like the head tube angle and bottom bracket height to make it just right for how you like to ride. On the other side, there's the Trek Supercaliber 9.6. It's got a cool frame made of OCLV Mountain Carbon. This makes it super strong and perfect for off-road racing. But what really stands out is its ISO strut suspension. It's like having a built-in cushion that gives you about 60 millimeters of travel at the back wheel. This makes your ride smooth and helps you get a good grip on the trail. So if you're into a bike that's a mix of light and strong and can tweak it to your liking, the Epic Evo with its Fact 11M carbon frame and progressive geometry is a winner. But if you're more into off-road racing and want a bike that's strong with a built-in cushion for a smooth ride, the Supercaliber 9.6 with its strong carbon frame and durable suspension is your go-to option. Did you know that 72% of visitors are more likely to make their purchases soon after watching a product video? This makes it necessary to have a product demonstration or promo video for showcasing your product's potential values and benefits. At Product Video Studio, we are equipped with camera gear, tools, and most importantly, expertise to make your video captivating and engaging. Just send your products and we'll handle the rest. Contact us today to create something amazing together. When it comes to conquering trails, the tire setup can make or break the riding experience. To talk about the Epic Evo, this bike comes with big 29-inch wheels that provide you with enhanced traction, stability, and the ability to roll over obstacles more easily. But you need some good brakes too, which can stop the wheels rolling. In terms of braking, the Evo is equipped with SRAM Level T hydraulic disc brakes featuring two piston calipers and 180 millimeter rotors, both at the front and rear. For sure, these brakes will give you reliable stopping power and precise modulation in every terrain. In comparison, the Supercaliber 9.6 comes with Bontrager XR two-team issue tires that are tubeless ready. These tires have an inner strength sidewall, aramid bead, and a 120 TPI rating. The maximum tire size it supports is 29 by 2.20 inches. Plus, the bike boasts Shimano hydraulic disc brakes with an MT4100 lever, an MT410 caliper at the front, while the rear is equipped with an MT4100 lever and MT424 piston caliper. This Shimano setup enhances braking efficiency with a combination of smooth lever action and the increased stopping power of the four piston caliper at the rear. While both bikes feature hydraulic disc brakes, the Epic Evo relies on SRAM components and the Supercaliber 9.6 utilizes Shimano's braking technology. The true test of a cross-country bike lies in how it performs on the trail. The Epic Evo, with its great climbing capabilities, effortlessly tackles ascents with surprising ease. Despite its 28-pound weight, 
The best part of the bike is its adaptable nature and easy to ride personality, which makes it suitable for various climbing situations. When descending, the Epic Evo will never let you down. It will handle technical features with ease and instill confidence in the rider. To talk in numbers, the Epic Evo comes with SRAM's NX Eagle 12-speed drivetrain that perfectly combines with the progressive XC geometry. This combo allows you to smoothly shift your gears anytime, any second. Plus, the bike has a body geometry power sport saddle, which makes tackling bumps more comfortable. Meanwhile, the flip chip equipped rear end adds versatility, allowing riders to customize the bike's handling. The RockShox suspension with motion control damper is also there for a gentle ride with easy suspension adjustments. And if we want to talk about the Supercaliber 9.6 in one line, this bike delivers a fast, capable, and efficient ride. Its ISO strut suspension technology ensures control, offering a unique blend of compliance and traction. The bike remains all-time ready for the cross-country race platform, providing a solid part spec that riders can upgrade over time. Its climbing performance is also commendable, thanks to its Shimano Dior 1x12 drivetrain that offers smooth riding, improved chain stability, and sharp shifting. The bike includes a Bontrager Arvada saddle, which enhances the rider's comfort and the absence of pedals allows them to choose their preferred ones. As we delve into the financial aspect, the price point often plays a crucial role in decision making. The specialized Epic Evo, once tagged at $4,000, has undergone a significant price drop and now stands at an enticing $3,799. This adjustment positions it as an affordable yet high performance option for riders seeking quality without breaking the bank. Meanwhile, the Trek Supercaliber 9.6 is now available at $3,299, which was previously tagged with $4,299. This bike offers an affordable entry point to the Supercaliber lineup. In short, the specialized Epic Evo and Trek Supercaliber 9.6 present riders with distinct choices, each with its unique strengths and characteristics. The Epic Evo impresses with its adaptability, smooth ride quality, and intuitive handling, providing a versatile option for riders exploring a range of terrains. On the other hand, the Supercaliber stands out with its innovative isostrut suspension, offering a controlled and efficient cross-country experience. The choice between these two ultimately boils down to personal preference and the specific riding style. So, let us know in the comment section which one you're after. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to get more videos like this on your feed.